So in each each chain now we will do two double crochet two double crochets in each chain. It has been it has to be done a bit tight because we want to get we want it to enroll. We want the tentacles to enroll. Now you see that they are starting to, to enroll. So it's only continuing like this with those two stitches into into each chain and it will enroll by itself. Okay, one tentacle is finished. Uh, now we'll just pass one stitch. It can be with slip stitch or maybe double crochet. Well okay. And now we'll go to the next one and we'll start doing our 50 chains. So exactly the same procedure as we did on the first tentacle, 50 chains and then coming back we do two stitches in each chain. Uh, and we repeat this procedure with, uh, procedure with uh, eight tentacles. So we are continuing our uh, our octopus. The octopus is already on the seventh leg, so we have six done. Now I'm on the seventh, and I also started putting the filling inside. Uh, I could wait for it till the end, but uh, but in the meantime I started. Then I will. Um, then when I finish all the all the legs, I will finish uh, putting the filling. Uh, putting the filling is a is a very simple process. Just we put inside, and uh, just to make it evenly uh, distributed inside. Uh, Okay, so when I finish all the all the legs, I will I will come back to you. Uh, the only thing which is uh, at the end is we use the slip stitch. Uh, what I wanted uh, what I wanted to say because there are many differences in the in the way the things are called. Uh, it can be single crochet, double crochet, whatever. Uh, all the all the stitches I'm using is. Uh, is always uh, let's call it single crochet it's this stitch so here on the legs we are doing two stitches in one chain okay so uh, here comes the moment when we finish the body and the legs so now I will do the slip stitch feeling start flying but no problem so I will pass here and directly through the loop Oops. Mm -hmm. I'm going directly through this loop yes and now we simply cut the thread 
leaving a tail and maybe like this okay so now the body is finished we'll finish filling up or filling in I don't know The filling you can use whichever, it can be something that you buy in specialized shops or you can also buy the small pillow, yeah. very simple small pillow and just use the filling from the, from the pillow. Okay, so this, this part is done. Now uh, there is only one thing missing, which will be the cover. The cover will, will now do the cover, which will be just uh, just the round thing, uh, and it will be separate, and then we'll sew it. So, which we will do the cover. We start with the magic ring and. A magic ring with four stitches. Okay, so it's one, two, three, and four. Now we'll close the the magic ring. And now, in the first row, we'll do always, in each stitch from the previous row, we'll do two stitches. So we have one, no, once again. First one and second. Third. Mm. Sorry. Third. And fourth. Fifth. And six, seven, and eight. And we'll, we will have only one more row, which will be uh, the row when we do in one. Uh, in the first one we do one stitch, in the second one we do two stitches. So, as the previous row finished with 8, this one will have 12. So now we are with 3, there was 1, and 2, 3, 4, 4, yes, 5, 6, 7, there's only one, seven, eight, nine, ten is single, and eleven, twelve are two. And we finish with the slip stitch. Yeah. 
okay the same way as we did before we cut and now what we'll do we'll have to put the the needle we'll have to thread the needle and we start sewing sewing our our cover on the bottom of the of the of the octopus what we can do is our line this line doesn't need to be that long and we can put it inside but what I'll do I will show you in a moment uh, what we can do with this line uh, now I will show you which way I um, hide and secure the the endings the, the line so I normally go inside then I go out somewhere, somewhere on the other side and then I go back I can go out somewhere here and then we'll enter somewhere here Yes, and now it's secure, I can cut, cut the rest, and the only thing we have to do now is to sew the, the cover. First we have to thread the line. Now what we have to do is to, to sew the, the cover, so we put the endings uh, of the beginning we put inside and now we'll start sewing the cover. Okay, we got the hex, but we we'll solve it right now. Yeah. Okay, so the process is, uh, is the same, um, we have to do it all around and at the end we'll, we'll hide the endings exactly the same way as we did with the, with the other ending. So the, the last part of our octopus is, um, is done by embroidery. Uh, you can decorate the way you want, but... Um, I will just show you how to how to do it. So for instance, if I want to do eyes, I will start from here and uh, then the thread will enter inside and here we will start our embroidery. So we can we can do it with some I think it's called backstitch. But I'm not sure. Okay, 
so that's the way you will do it and uh, what you can decorate the way you want uh, it's it's just this way that that we do it and I is done now we will we are passing to the second eye Now we'll hide the thread. Okay, so the eyes are done. We have to hide it the way it's not visible, which is more difficult when there is another color. I'll go maybe down. Yes, now only cut. When we cut, we can do it. Yeah, it enter inside. So now the only thing that is missing is mouse. Okay, now it's uh, it's the mouse turn. So we'll start from here to to fix this thread. And we we'll start going out some more here. Yeah. Okay. Quite ready. Okay. And now I'm hiding the, the thread. Okay, so it's nearly done. So the last part is hiding the thread. And our octopus is ready. Okay, thanks for watching. If you want, you can you can uh, make some hat to put on the on the head on the other uh, with the other color. Uh, the hat will be done exactly the same way as we did the cover down. Uh, but that's optional. So here is our our octopus ready, ready to go for 
our premature baby for premature babies. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.